All right, sun different, new direction. Normally don't shoot my videos until after I go home and take a shower, but I'm tired today. So today is day six of the project. And like I said, on my five video, this was really shoddy. I just put them up as examples. What I did today was back here on the back. You should be able to see it. Found some bricks there that I started separating out my stone. So some of you may be able to see stone I should have in the back pile, in the front pile, but like the video series says, I'm a novice. I don't know what I'm doing. So I started here. The sun was just too hot, so I moved down to the shaded area and worked down there the rest of the day. Now here is my first attempt at a I took uh, my hand chisel and worked this stone and its partner is over here. Uh, turn the camera upside down, I don't know. I also took off a little face on that one. But my piles are kind of big. At least bigger than I thought they would be for what I've done. Most of the work happened over here. This is about five and a half feet from where I actually want to build the wall. The wall I want to build right next to this tree. It's going to be right here. There's one an end cap right here in my dirt. So, but from that point, my parents will decide if they want me to take it all the way down. But today, day six, I cleared this out, this little bitty cubby hole, so I could get around the tree. Now, here, it's been raining. It's been raining for multiple days, but I was not able to get out here to light this off while it was raining. I believe we're under a burn ban, so we don't want to light anything off until uh, it's this is damp, so that we don't do too much damage. And this morning, or tomorrow morning, and this evening, it's supposed to rain a little bit, so that little bitty brush pile right there. I'll start a fire on top of that. Throw some of the wood. From over there onto it and then use a pitchfork in my hands to throw this on top of it that way I mean there is I'm looking at a I think the closest tree is about 20 feet away so that's a great place to burn from but I know there's a lot of good face stones and through stones over here. But if they ask me to take the rocks, the rock wall further, that's what they'll be you for. My mom says she wants to get that cedar tree out. My dad wants to get that cedar tree out. Everybody wants to get that cedar tree out. Nobody wants to do it. Now you can see this tree has multiple lines of fencing going through it. So my dad was talking about coming down here to the base once I clear out most of these rocks and nipping it and just burning the thing there. I mean, there's nothing, nothing we can do with it. And I found a little skull today. And I moved this big rock here, probably about 500 to 1,000 pounds. I had a stump that I was sitting on. Uh, that was my my resting stump, and somebody's taking it. So I'm thinking about making a stone chair. But 
I've still got a lot of work to do. I should be out tomorrow to fire that off and to continue with the rock. And I think I've got my rock a little too close. I will have to... I don't want to move it. I've already moved it once. I have to rethink how I'm piling up my rock because I've got... About 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30, about 30 feet worth of rock to clear out. And I barely moved anything and I have that much. Uh, now, that might not be enough to build a wall, but for what it was used for, it was enough. That's all for today.